Servus guys and welcome to the second part of the golem farm tutorial. Last time we finished with uh, building up our golems, our golems put the wheat and the seeds uh, which were um, which um, have been grown there uh, into the chest and now we are going to do an automatic version uh, of this farm um, or enhance this version um, so that um, the wheat is automatically produced and you do um, yeah you haven't you you do, you do not oh this is crazy you do not have to do anything um, for this yeah it's just an automatic process that we are installing right now uh, we just have to get under the chest um, well I oh this sucks okay whatever Let's build down some, some space. And we need, first of all, a wooden transport pipe right under the chest. Here we go. Then we need a redstone engine, which pumps out everything out of the um, chest. And we need some lever, 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 don't know. And now we see that everything is dropped. Yeah, working. Okay. Okay, let's build a little transport system here. Um, I'm using golden pipes, which are the fastest pipes. Um, just, just build them to wherever you want, uh, to where, wherever you want um, your uh, to have your bread uh, in in the end. Um, the next thing that is that we need an auto crafting table. This auto crafting table has the capability of producing our bread from. Um, let's see what we're doing next. Okay, no, we are not decided yet. Um, we need some wheat, of course. That's the problem. I do not have any wheat, and I'm missing something else. Let's see what I am missing. Oh, a lot of diamonds. Nice. Oh, we need a diamond pipe. Yeah, that's right. And we need a void pipe. That's also very important because, um, as you see, the um, gol uh, the golem picks up everything he gets, uh, also seeds, and we can't use the seeds in the auto crafting table. So we have to get rid of the seeds um, before they reach the auto crafting table. In the auto crafting table, we place the receipt. Yeah, so three weeds, and just leave them there. And the auto crafting table produces bread every time. Um, when three seeds, uh, three weeds um, are reaching the auto crafting table. Yeah. Then we just need a chest uh, at the end, a redstone engine here. Um, I think I do not have one in my inventory. And there we go, that's nearly uh, everything we have to do. So we need to. Um, <clears throat> get some more space and replace a golden pipe um, into a uh, diamond pipe so we can say this pipe um, what uh, we want to have in the red um, pipe or in, in another blue pipe or whatever yeah so now we can say uh, for example into the red pipe put everything um, that is wheat um, so we are safe that this reaches the auto crafting table and um, on green I think or whatever we do not have to to, to define the seeds on the green side of the diamond pipe because if we say um, red is wheat then everything else goes to green and uh, on the green one the, vi uh, the void pipe um, yeah destroys everything instantly so we do not have a waste and, uh, and the seeds are getting destroyed immediately. So, yeah, that's working fine. Just the wheat on the right side, uh, on the right pipe, right diamond pipe, and um, just a white pipe on the other side so that the seeds won't reach the auto crafting table. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if it works. Yeah. Well, the um, redstone engine has to be heated up a bit, so it's working uh, quite fast later on. So the wheat went through, as you uh, could see, and uh, this one too, and now we got the first seed, which should end up in the void pipe. There we go. Yeah, it's working fine. Sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry, I got a cold. And there you see um, we got two beats um, on uh, every place in the receipt. And now we need uh, our redstone engine, which we hopefully got somewhere in our inventory. Ah, there are some. Nice. And we need a chest. Yeah, let's take a diamond chest, whatever. And yeah, just place it like we did it on the other side, on the, on the below the chest. Just put the chest up here, the redstone table on the wooden transport pipe, and the redstone signal, which we do not have here. <laughs> okay, so we need some kind of redstone signal, redstone flag, or um, or. Uh, a redstone torch, I mean, and or a lever. So let's get started. This is everything we need, and our automatic golden farm is finished. Here we go. Now the bread should come out. Yeah, there we go. And just place your, your last chest wherever you want. Uh, you you want to have your bread, um, and every time something is growing. Um, they will harvest the two guys and um, yeah bread is getting produced and yeah this is everything you need for your automatic bread golem farm um, with endless bread hey it's looking at me and yeah it's working yes nice one well I think um, this scale of Golem farm is a bit small. You should um, do this a bit, um, yeah, larger. Uh, I would say um, because the output is very small. Um, you need a slightly bigger field, but not that big to be, um, let's say, for three, four, you know, let's say, eight men playing on the server. And um, we have a closer look uh, in a sec to my uh, farm that I'm using myself. Uh, for our um, for our bread, uh, which is right over there. Yeah, there. And this um, scale of um, golem farm is perfect. It's producing a lot of bread, and um, it's nearly not. It's nearly just a, even too big, even a big too big. Oh, restart. No, 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 no. Okay, see us in a sec. Here we are again. Sorry about the restart. And, uh, well, in this... Um, uh, here I am um, collecting the seeds for the moment. Um, because uh, I was building uh, a bigger golem farm. Uh, a very XXL golem farm. If you like to see it, um, just check out my videos or the links in the info box. And uh, I needed a lot of seeds um, to build this XXL golem farm. And that's, um, that's why I'm collecting the seeds here. But in the end it's working all the way um, like we did it um, in the tutorial. The pipes are in our um, in our main base or, or direct in our main base and yeah everyone can pick up um, a stack of bread without any problems and um, a chunk loader keeps them alive and um, yeah I got enough seats at the moment so I'm stopping this here and uh, seats are getting um, destroyed because I'm picking up a void pipe and um, let everything besides uh, wheat being destroyed instantly again. So it's the same setup as we have uh, in our tutorial farm. And uh, we have a closer look now um, on, our, on my XXL farm, or just have a short look. 
and um, it's working with the same uh, let's have a look it's working um, with the same things um, yeah it's just a bigger scale yeah working fine and if you have a closer look to, um, to the point in the video where you see the chest, everything in there gets picked up. So, uh, I don't know, something from spiders or so uh, got uh, left there and they're picking up, um, they're picking it up and um, putting in the chest and there you see our output. So, this is, uh, yeah, you can't even, this is still too big, um, you, you still can use a, slower, uh, a smaller farm. And yeah, this is the output line for our XXL Golem farm, but I'm not using um, a chunk loader there, so um, the XXL Golem farm is inactive um, until someone is there and loads the chunks. But let's see and have a closer look. Yeah. This is the way to the cathedral. As you might see in other videos, um, I got a cinematic video about the uh, cathedral as well. Just check it out. Is quite nice and now we have a small look at our XXL golem farm there we go okay not all chunks are loaded load them load them and as I said it's a it's a slightly bigger scale uh, I got 10 chests uh, all over the field uh, with 10 uh, golems and uh, 10 straw golem workers um, there's a whole pipe system below the field and uh, well um, if this is loaded um, the output is is incredible um, as you see uh, as you could see before um, I do not have a, a big pipe system into uh, our base uh, I'm using an item tesseract which sends the items uh, directly from from uh, this fields, from this farm, uh, to our main base, and uh, this is very, um, it's working very fine. Um, well, sometimes there's a bug and um, seeds won't get planted, but nevertheless, uh, the output is so immense, so so huge that uh, this is just crazy. Um, and um, well, I got seven videos um, online which uh, show you how I did this farm, um, which is more kind of a music video and uh, speed it up um, farm videos and so on should be more enjoyable than uh, this lame ass tutorial and uh, yes I hope you had some fun um, I enjoyed um, this uh, farm and I just can uh, tell you that I think it's very um, important for everyone um, to build such a farm because uh, you never have to think about um, bread again with this automatic version so I just I suggest it uh, for everyone especially the guys who are playing on a server yes um, then I just love to say thank you for watching and uh, yeah have a good day have a good week and see you next time Servus guys